What's going on everybody? This is iPod King Carter. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about the shoe endorsement. We're going to talk about how you can get more VC, more bang for your buck, more bang for your 500,000 fans that you had to work so hard to get in order to sign a sneaker deal. Now, in this video, I do sign with Jordan. As you guys see, I do have the Jordan sponsorship, but there was a slight problem with my signing. As I was recording, my computer happened to crash and I couldn't get you guys that crucial cutscene of some chick trying to swindle me. I mean, literally swindle me into a deal that I didn't want. I mean, guys, she did everything besides sit on my lap for this deal. <laughs> now, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you like the video. We're about to hop into it, man. I'm about to tell you guys the craziest story in 2K ever. Let's get into it. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. Okay, people, so my story starts going up against the New York Knicks. Now, basically, I played these guys on All-Star difficulty and I bombed on them. I exploited the game till its fully extent. If you guys missed my video on how to grind your badges, you might wanna go check that video out. I'm telling you, it's a video that's gonna help you. 150 to 109. So basically, in this game, I was about maybe 40 to 50,000 fans away from a shoe deal, and I decided to put it on, man. I scored more than 50 points. I dropped these dudes off something serious, and with this game, I got 30,000 fans, but I'm gonna tell you how I got the last 10. Hi, this is Shaq. Your performance tonight, oh, heavenly. One of the best I've seen in a long time. <laughs> What allowed you to dominate with your scoring the way you did? Now, every time I answer these after the game questions, I love going with the fans. You know, sometimes I just like to go out there and put on a show for the fans, Shaq. I mean, it's too bad you haven't seen dominance like that in so long. But hey, guess what? You won't have to wait like that again. I'm going to come out and do it again next game, huh? Now, right after this interview, guys, I actually got hit up by the agent, and he told me to go ahead and do a press conference as well. So I poured it on. Big win for you guys tonight. Do you feel like uh, you can even learn anything in a game where the score is so lopsided? Learn anything? Man, I don't know. All I can tell you is that we crushed them. Crushed them! <laughs> I mean, woo! Man, this team is legit, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the big win tonight. Big win. Uh. Now, after that conference, I actually did about another hour of recording. And like I told you guys, man, my recording app had crashed. So I decided, okay, hold on. As soon as I found out that that app had crashed, I decided to crash 2K. And what I mean by that is I decided to go back in time. Yes, you can go back in time on this video game. And the way to do that is make sure that you guys have PlayStation Plus so that you guys can go in your archives and download those back to your system. Now, I only advise experts to do this. I don't advise everybody to do this. The only time that you should be doing this is if you're a YouTuber and you might have messed up some type of clip or something like that that you needed to record. Now, after I did all of that, I was able to come back to the park and go through the whole entire endorsement process once again just to show you guys that this is not a fluke. I didn't get this deal off a whim. This is me closing an opening app a million times over. Now you guys can go ahead and read the screen. I thought that I was going to be able to do a funny commentary like I did when I signed my actual NBA contract, but I was too ticked off and I just decided to go ahead and record this and get this done for you guys. Now you guys see that they have 1470 VC per event and they only have one incentives and tier three for shoes. Now the reason why I asked for the max and everything is because I just wanted to see what they was going to give me. Now, they were already ticked off. They weren't filling it. And I took it all the way down to 100 VC. Yes, the same amount of VC that you guys seen in the beginning of this video for my contract. And they pulled that offer. You want to know why they pulled that offer? Because I didn't come correct. I came a little too raunchy in the beginning. So, as my next counter offer, I'm going to counter offer these guys 100 VC per event, which events won't happen all season. But I need those three incentives. With those three incentives, I can get all the VC back from every event that I would have each game. Maybe, maybe about half that. 
you know what I mean? So incentives are really big as far as your contracts go, as far as like maybe whether it be Gatorade, whether it be Foot Locker, whether it be whatever shoe brand, you definitely want to worry about incentives. VC will come. VC for events will, they will come, they will be there. But incentives are really big. Now, as you get more popular, you definitely want to egg on more and more incentives. I would say, honestly, after every level two contract that you sign, you want to go for the max incentives. I would never just say, hold on, all right, well, let me take the two incentives and I'm good. No, max it out every time for every brand. Now, the reason why I'm bringing you guys to the shoe store, there's one thing that you can't fake. When you go back in time with your uh, game save downloads from the online cloud, what's going to happen is anything you purchase online from 2K, it's still going to be there. So purchasing stuff for the park is not a part of the story. So you guys see here that I own a whole bunch of sneaks. I know you guys are probably going to be like, hold on, iPod. Why did you purchase all those sneakers before you got your deal? I didn't. Remember, I went back in time because all of my recorded footage had got wiped. So I'm just showing you guys a little bit of me grabbing some sneakers, checking some new Jordans out, and the reason why I signed with Jordan. Now, the biggest reason why I signed with Jordan is because I always wear Jordan 1s around the whole park in real life. I'm just a Jordan 1 fanatic. So that's the reason why I signed with Jordan, because it gives me the ability to wear Jordan 1s whenever, wherever, and however I want. Now, the last thing that I need to let you guys understand about contracts and endorsements and shoe deals and stuff like that, do what's best for you. I mean, the only reason I'm giving you guys advice is because I want you guys to make the most VC, but don't, I won't tell you guys to sign with Nike because of this or sign with Adidas because of that. I would just say, hey, sign your deal because it's your deal and it's what you want. All right. Now, this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that now and don't forget to like the video. I'll see you guys in the comments so we can argue about all the incentives, VC and deals. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Could it be the way my eyes got caught?